Welcome back on board Asiana Airlines' last Boeing 747-400 as we make the return journey from Taipei back to Seoul. One last chance to fly on the iconic Queen of the Skies in her final week of passenger operations, before she fades into the Korean history books forever. Our journey begins at the Asiana Airlines check-in counters in Terminal 2 at Taipei Taoyuan International Airport. We'll be taking flight OZ-712 from Taipei back to Seoul, Incheon. Having earlier pre-selected my seat, check-in is quickly completed and it's time to head through security into the airside section of the terminal. Today, I'm traveling with a friend of mine who has Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer Gold status, so he's going to be bringing me into the Silver Chris Lounge as a guest. The Silver Chris Lounge in Taipei is one of Singapore Airlines' oldest lounges, but it's still made for a very enjoyable visit. Down a narrow hallway, the lounge opens up to the right-hand side, revealing plenty of seating options for both dining and for comfort. The bathrooms, including shower facilities, can be found at the back of the lounge. Speaking of dining, there's a fantastic range of regional and international options available here, something for everyone to choose from. I opted to have some sweet and sour fish, vegetables and fried rice noodles, along with some dim sum, a fruit cocktail and the absolutely delicious Taiwanese braised pork. Excellent lounge catering. Having rested and refueled in the lounge, we make our way to the gate. HL7428, Asiana's last Boeing 747-400, awaits us. It's now time for boarding and for one last flight on the Queen of the Skies.
We are airborne and it's about two hours flight time to Seoul. Just long enough for a meal service and to have a look around the cabin. Taking a closer look at the seats, they're definitely starting to show signs of age. However, it must be said, these seats are far more comfortable than modern economy class seating, with thick padding and spacious legroom. Once into the cruise, the cabin crew are quick to begin a full meal service. Very impressive for a flight this short on an aircraft this big. This is a little different to what I'm used to from other flights around Asia. Instead of a tray service, we've got a casserole with an accompanying box. And here it all is. Shrimp fried rice with fried noodles and chicken, a bread roll, some fruit jelly, and an apple juice. This was quite tasty, especially when paired with Korean spicy gochujang paste. As is customary on Asian airlines, a tea and coffee service followed shortly after. Once the cabin had settled down, it was time to go exploring. After all, this is no regular flight, more on par with an interactive flying museum. I spent much of the flight pacing up and down the aisles, stopping to admire the view at every exit door, and looking for features unique to the 747, such as these overhead in-flight entertainment screens displaying the moving map. However, nothing is more iconic than the space found at the second exit doors, which features the staircase to the upper deck of the 747. The stairway to heaven, leading up to the 747's hump, where the business class cabin is located on this aircraft. Here's some footage from my flight in first class the day prior, where I climbed the stairs to have a look at the upper deck. Back on the main deck, a quick look through the R2 exit door window, and then just behind, the under the stairs galley, unique to the Boeing 747. I return to my seat as we make our descent towards Incheon, reminiscing about my experience on the Queen. It's been great to meet so many other like-minded aviation enthusiasts from all over the world, who came together for these last few flights. We enjoy some beautiful weather and great views on approach into Incheon as the journey comes to a close.
back on solid ground. So there we have it. One last flight on the Boeing 747-400, the Queen of the Skies. This will be the penultimate time that HL7428 pulls into the gates at Incheon, a sobering moment. Final look around this cabin, cut short as the cabin crew were eager to get us off the aircraft. Views from the air bridge will have to do instead. As the era of the Asiana Boeing 747 fades into history, I'm glad to have been a part of it and to have experienced this final week of operations. Farewell, and blue skies always. <laughs>